Hey everybody, it's Drew with Southern Yankee Innovations, and today we're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of the Echo 590 Timberwolf and the Echo 620 PW. Alright, here you have the two saws side by side. You can tell the 620 with the aluminum grab handle with the rubber to help better grip, and the Timberwolf just has the single wrap plastic handle. Um, the two saws are pretty much identical. Um, they have the same power plant. The 620 is listed as having some tweaks, but they don't go into much detail as to what the tweaks are. You can see here the 620 has two sets of the grips for the biting into the log when you're making your cuts, where the Timberwolf just has a single set. Um, the sprocket cover on the 590 Timberwolf is just plastic, where the 620 is made of magnesium. Price on the 620 is going to run you $599 plus tax out the door for the 24 inch bar. And the 590 Timberwolf is going to run you right around a little over $400 with the 20 inch bar plus tax out the door. So one of the big noticeable differences is the 590 Timberwolf is going to have a spur type sprocket and the 620 is gonna have a rim sprocket. So the spur sprocket, you'll see the teeth, the rim sprocket just kinda of keeps everything tucked in behind the outer cover. Just as a reminder, when running chainsaws, make sure you wear all the manufacturer recommended safety equipment. We have ear protection, but we do not have safety glasses on like we should. Alright, so here we're just going to make a few passes on each of the saws. Um, really, there's no big difference between the two. Um, you can see with the 590 Timberwolf that it just barely had enough bar length to actually cut through this in one pass, going straight down. Um, but otherwise, time-wise, they're within a second of each other. Just to clarify, I'll have the blue sweatshirt on and I am running the 620 and then this is Andrew and he'll be running the Timberwolf. Just a side note, the 620 is just over 14 pounds and the 590 Timberwolf is just over 13 pounds. With the two saws side by side, it does sound like the 620 has a slightly deeper and maybe milder sound to it than the Timberwolf does. I'm not sure what kind of mods or tweaking as Echo has it that have actually been done to the saws. So here we run the saws head to head, one cut down and one cut back. The 590 Timberwolf um, was running at 37 and a half seconds to cut down and back. And the down cut was a second to a second and a half slower than the 620.
So here's the time cut on the 620. As I said before, the down cut was a second to a second and a half faster than it was with the 590. Is it the saw? Is it just how it's being cut? It's hard to say. The total time for the 620 was 31.6 seconds. So it was about six seconds faster than the 590. So we just did this for fun. Andrew had a chain that he sharpened himself and made it pretty hot. And I just was using a regular sharpened chain. And just kind of goes to show you the difference if you know how to sharpen a chain really good, how much difference it can make and how much faster and efficient you can cut. That's great about these saws is he had the rakers filed down and the saw never checked up. It just pulled and pulled. We had three of us here running the tests and all of us agreed that the 590 Timberwolf was the better buy. So the 620 is nice. It has the aluminum bar so it's a little more mobile and you're able to put up to 27 inch bar. So if you're cutting some big stuff, definitely a great saw. But for your general use, cutting average size logs or splitting firewood or anything like that, for the price difference, the 590 is definitely the way to go. So we ran all of these saws today. Uh, Steel Wood Boss, Steel Farm Boss, Husqvarna 455 Rancher, the Echo 590, and then the Echo 620PW. And uh, Andrew, the buddy of mine, is going to be posting a video on his Blue Line Turf and Property. I will attach a link in the description when he posts it, so you can check that video out.